Jimmy K here, Metal Voice. Look at this. The Metal Voice shirts are now on sale. Just go to the video description to find out on how you can purchase one. Metal! Welcome to the Metal Voice Heavy Montreal version, of course, with Woodrow. Weatherman or Woody Weatherman. Either way, it works, man. Either off, way. Uh, off camera, you're telling me this is your real name, right? It is. Believe it or not. I mean, yeah. they, they actually named me that, and I'm cool with it. All right. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> All right, first things first. Uh, you did a lot of touring with Zach Wild. Oh, yeah. A lot. We did, like two, two or three legs. He kept on saying, we'd get done with a leg, and he'd be like, hey, CFC guys, you want to do a little bit more? <laughs> yeah. Cool. We're there. Anytime Zach asks, we're there, because he's great. Those yeah. guys are awesome. What, do you, what did you learn from Zach? I mean, the guy's like a seasoned, I mean, you guys are seasoned pros too. I mean, well, yeah, we've been at it a little while, but you know, Zach, I mean, he's, come on, Zach Wild. But really, uh, we just learned a bunch of jokes and stuff, mostly. Okay. He's, a, he's a jokester, which, uh, is, which is cool. But he also does play guitar, in case you didn't know that. <laughs> Zach, yeah, Zach, we, you know, we, we kept on asking him to give us a lick of the day, and every once in a while he'd show us a little something. But, you know, Pe Pepper and I, we don't know what the fuck we're doing. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. You know, we try, we try our best. <laughs> but what, have you learned anything from him? Like all these years, you know, a lot of time with him on the road. Have you learned, and musically, have you learned? Have you picked up anything? Or maybe he's picked up something from you. Well, you I don't never know. know. You never know. Maybe it might be vice versa. But one thing I can say about uh, Mr. Zach Wilde is he, when he, he'll joke around all day, but when it comes time to going on stage and boom. playing his guitar, boom. Yeah. He's on it. Yeah. No messing around. <laughs> all right. It's been, I think, 2018 was your last album. Yes, no, I, cross, I, no, cross, no Crown, no Crown, came out January, so it's been out like a year and a half, you know, we're still on the road, and we still got a little ways to go, but we're, we're starting to ponder about the next one, thinking about it. H have you written any riffs, or jolted any ideas, written, yeah. recorded? There, nothing recorded, really, but I mean, there's always riffs, but really, we did, well, you know, the last record, we didn't have anything really before we went in the studio. We wrote it and recorded it as we went along, and we may kind of adopt that approach again yeah. which is kind of fun you know because at the end of the day you're going in the morning and there's nothing and at the end of the day there's, there's most of <laughs> most of a song on tape you know and you're like all right we did something today cool okay yeah, cool. it's kind of a fun way to do it all right so do you have, do you foresee maybe something new like a new direction or are you just going to stick the same old same old i mean you know we always do a little something different you know if, if anybody follows corrosion through the years uh you know you can always kind of tell it's corrosion, but it might, you know, we kind of veer off and challenge ourselves on stuff, you know, but we're not going to, you know, come out and be the Jonas Brothers. Because yeah. you know. <laughs> when you go back into the history of the band, right? Right. You know, you start off as hardcore and then it evolved more into a doom-like, harsh kind of, yeah. you know, but to be honest, man, we were kids when we did our, when we, you know, first came out, you're talking like 1981, 82, and really all of our songs even though everybody called it you know punk rock or hardcore or whatever you know it was all just sped up sabbath riffs you know and zz top riffs we just <laughs> played them like three times as fast you know <laughs> and it was hardcore punk we're like okay cool and, uh, it did evolve right because the, you evolve. mature you mature as a songwriter and i mean it could could it mature even more maybe maybe i mean we'll come out and doing vivaldi and stuff i mean i don't know i mean maybe <laughs> We'll see. <laughs> what about lyrical ideas, you know, politics and social political stuff? Do you, do you have anything you want to talk about next time around? America on the verge of civil war? I don't know. Ah, well, yeah, there, you know, there's always that. That's, you know, through the decades, it's always been on the verge. But, you know, really one thing, you know, because Pepper contributes most to the lyrical end of things. Yeah. Mike Dean does. And sometimes we all pitch in a few things here and there. But I think. I think uh, one of the things that Pepper does really well is he, d he, he may be addressing some political type of issues, but not in a really direct way. Yeah, no, you know, yeah, you don't want to, you, you don't want to, you don't want to start, start yeah. a civil war. You don't want to start a civil war. Yeah, you don't want to start a civil war. And so, you know, you kind of leave a lot of stuff open to interpretation, which I think is good, but yet there's still some meaning there. And maybe for you or me or you, it has means something different, you know, that's kind of cool. What about, okay, Queen, you did a cover of Queen. We did. Uh, you know, it's successful. A lot of lot of hype around it. But would you consider doing more covers? And you've done them in the past too. But yeah, would yeah. you consider doing again? You know, maybe a, not not by Queen, but maybe by somebody else. Yeah, that's actually a a, a topic of a discussion at the moment. Some some different oh, ideas. Album? 
I don't know about a whole album. We need some answers. We need some answers. <laughs> Come on, be definitive, man. <laughs> I mean, we, we've been tossing around some ideas, but we had a great time doing that Queen song. And that, that was actually John Custer, uh, our producer, sort of twisted our arms. He's been trying to get yes, us to do yes, it for years. Yes, yes. You know, and, and John Custer's been working with us. Uh, the first record he did with us was the Blind album, and he's done every record since then. You know, we, we love John. He's just another, uh, you know, so almost like another member of the band, really. But uh, he was like, man, he, he's a giant Brian May Queen fan. And uh, he, he twisted our arm until we did it. We finally said, okay, we'll, do, we'll learn it. We sat down, we went in the morning that day, kind of learned it, figured it out, put it on tape, end of the day, it wasn't completely finished, but it was there. It was on tape. You know, we still had a little candy to do the next day, but it's fun doing stuff like that. So what's next? Just a lot of touring. Uh, you know, you're here, of course, at Heavy Montreal, but what's next for the band? Any, any sort of giant... Giant news. Giant news. Yeah. Well, we, we, we just started this leg uh, of, of North America. It's us and Crowbar and the Quaker City Nighthawks and Lopan and all that stuff. Right after this, we got another leg, believe it or not, in the U.S. We're bringing a skull out and some other guys, and uh, we're going to end that with the uh, mega cruise out there in L.A. Yes, yes. And then uh, the doors are open. We, we, we might be buckling down a little bit towards the end of the year and doing some of this. Go in the studio and whatever comes out. Maybe, maybe we'll see, you know. <laughs> we still got some other travel to do, so we're not done with the touring just yet. So, so yeah, the mega cruise. I mean, it's unfortunate, Dave, you know. Yeah. It but is what it is. do the cruise, and I think he's gonna, he says he's gonna show up and they're gonna do something in some capacity, but yeah. there's a lot of bands on that cruise, so it's gonna be fun. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, thank you very much. The Woodster. The Woodster. The Woodster. The Woodman. Wood I'm for me in Montreal, <laughs> heavy Montreal. Yeah. Say farewell to the future, get ready for